Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings on blessings. It's Prophet Yaquim. And God just put this word on my spirit. And this is three people that you must avoid on your healing journey with Christ. Man, it's so serious. Very much serious, man. Because these people will drain you of all the hard work you've been putting in. Drain you of your grace. Drain you of your glory in Christ's name. Number one is people who constantly bring up your past. People who constantly bring up your past. You got to get those people out to life today. Today. If you on a healing journey and you putting down like the weed, the drugs, the websites, adult websites, you know, any negative practice that you used to do in the past, you got people around you, which could be your own family, your own flesh and blood, your significant other, you know, friends, coworkers, and they're not happy to see you elevate. They're not happy that you got set free from the Adderall. They're not happy you got set free from, you know, the alcohol, right? But it makes them mad and they constantly bring up your past like, oh, you used to do this. You can't be walking with God. You can't be walking with Christ. Oh, you used to smoke weed. You can't walk with God. You can't walk with Christ. How can he use you? Get those people out your life because they do not love you. Amen. If people ain't walking with God, they do not know the love of God. They do not have the love of God, so they cannot love you properly. In Jesus' mighty name. And the only thing that's going to do to you is make you feel negative about yourself, right? Because they're going to try to gaslight you, love bomb you, right? It's a crab in a bucket mentality, man. And that's why you don't need that negativity when you're trying to be positive because it's just going to counteract against each other. And I got a verse for y'all. In Romans chapter 8 and verse 6. And it says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. See, you got a spiritual mind. You want that life. You want that peace in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But see, when you're around carnally minded people, you're around death. Because that's all they're bringing you. Negative affirmations. Saying you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't be this, you can't be that. Mm -mm -mm. You gotta get those people out, cut them off. Don't wait to do it either. Block them today in Jesus' name. Number two is people who are, who are always negative, having a problem and no solutions. You ever met somebody? Some of y'all probably got these people who family members to you. We always go to them. It's always a problem. Like you, you just talk to them. They always got something negative. You you can give this person solutions over solution over solution over solution, and they always still have a problem. Like they're never happy. They're never having a positive mindset. You cannot help someone like that. You cannot. You wasting your time. You wasting your energy. You wasting your efforts. In Jesus' mighty name. They don't want the help. They really just love the attention that you've given them by being there for them. They're not willing to do the work that it takes to do the inner healing to really work on themselves. They really just get the satisfaction from you just being there, your presence and your healing energy that they drain in from you. And they just feed off that energy vampires. They just feed off that cycle. And that's just going to drain you and you're going to take on, you know, their sins, take on their problems. They're projecting them onto you. Now you feeling negative. Now you feeling depressed. Now you feeling sad. Now you feeling anxiety. Mm -mm, cut them off. I don't care who it is. I'm going to be real with you. Cut them off. Christ said, let the dead bury the dead. Cling on to life. In Jesus' mighty name. 
Number three, you know, just people who bring you down. You know, people who just bring you down. People who don't edify you. People who just always want to throw word curses on the things you do. People who don't appreciate your efforts. Which is, you know, we live in a time where the love of many has a wise code. And, you know, you walk through the valley of the shadow of death. That's the times we're living in right here, man. Darkness is everywhere. The cloud of darkness is heavy. But you got that light in you. So you got to learn how to protect that light. You got to guard that light. And not let every thought that enters your mind really sit there. You know, don't dwell on negative thoughts from people. Don't dwell on negative thoughts of yourself. Because it doesn't bring nothing into fruition. You know, sometimes you got to just let yourself sit in silence. Stop trying to overthink. Stop trying to always overanalyze. Especially if you like, you giving yourself a headache by overthinking. Just you know, relax. You know, don't. If anybody's saying something negative to you about something you got going on, don't give that person your time or attention. Tell them you don't want to talk to them. Right? You got no one got time for that. Life already stressful enough. Right, we are got already have a lot of problems going on. You know, we got time for everyone being negative all the time, right? So, so it's just better to be alone. Better to be alone. And I'm gonna read Proverbs chapter thirteen and twenty one. And oh, it's right here. And it says. Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. So your good will be repaid. As long as you've been obedient and willing to the Most High, it will be repaid in your due season. But evil pursueth sinners. So you got to understand that a lot of these people, you know, they're reaping what they have sown. You reap what you sow in this life. If you putting out negativity, Envy, jealousy, hatred You gonna get those things right back To you You putting out love Abundance Prosperity, healing You gonna get those things right back to you But see if you Throwing your Casting your pearls before a swine You doing yourself a disservice Cause you trying to get in the way of God's judgment Who can get in the way of God's judgment None of us now you putting yourself in the line of the crossfire and now you getting judged too because you're trying to help someone that God is judging. That's foolish. So these are the three signs, the three people you must avoid on your healing journey. Number one, people who constantly bring up your past. Number two, people who are always negative, having a problem and no solutions. And number three, people who bring you down. So I pray this word bless you. I pray you got edified from this video. Always like, comment, and subscribe. Stay positive-minded. Keep on feeding your soul life in abundance. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you.